Sandy Monroe talks about Arkimoto, the logistics of actually building a Cybertruck, the Plaid motor, and more. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Anyhow. Whenever you're ready. So, yeah, so Sandy, stand. prior, right there is fine. Prior to today, what was the most exciting thing about Arkimoto? Probably Mark from from our he's <laughs> he's the most exciting thing uh, at at, uh, at Arkimoto. Really and truly, uh, nobody can have a product that's going to be successful without uh, without a leader. And sure. Mark is the guy who leads the parade. And his ideas, his uh, enthusiasm. Sometimes it's runaway. I'm not gonna I'm gonna kid you for a second. Uh, sometimes it's very difficult to uh, to kind of like rein him in sometimes, but. Without that kind of leadership, it's impossible to have anything that's worth it in. So sure. He's the most important. So now that you've, we've seen the mean, lean machine, yeah. uh, what do you think the market reception to that's going to be? Obviously, if it's priced right, it'll do better. Who's this for? Well, um, I saw this a little while ago. Um, I haven't seen any marketing studies on it, but I will tell you one thing for sure. Uh, that type of vehicle um, is a lot easier to sell than almost anything else. And what Mark had said was what I thought, which was, why, why would I want to get on, I will never, ever get onto a stepper or anything like that. My wife tries to get me to, the, to uh, you know, join a, a health club and whatnot, it's never going to happen. But I would buy one of those, and I will. I will buy one. In fact, Mike's putting our name in right now. We're probably going to get four or five. Anyways, we'll just buy these things. I'll bring them to the office. Okay, guys, generate electricity. Metal this, right? your little ass off, and uh, and, and, then turn and make it the into kids the... charge it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, I don't. I don't. I drove motorcycles for a long time. Uh, my wife won't let me have one of those either anymore. But I, I, I will tell you, I'm going to get one of those, and I'm going to, I'm going to ride it around. I now live in a, in a countryside. This is perfect. And the reason I would never get a bicycle, a two wheeler, is because it's too easy to get hurt. Yeah. This is a lot, a whole lot safer. So, uh, sure. uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting it. And I think that the market is going to be any kid who wants to be cool. Right. Remember when three wheeler, or sorry, what do they call it, the big wheel? Oh yeah. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. One day nobody had one. Next day everybody had to have one. So I think that's what is going to happen. I think it's going to excite the market, and I think you're going to find that you're going to have maybe uh, I don't know teenagers or whatever, sure. all the way up to guys like ancient people like myself. Sure. So I had a question. How likely is it that you're at, that Tesla's actually going to be able to fold stainless sheets to make a Cybertruck? I'm a tool maker. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. It's just. It's an engineering problem, not a physics problem. It's not even a really... We've been bending stainless steel for a long, long time, okay. and that's not a really serious kind of product, and that's okay. why I have one on order. Actually, and, we have five on order, but <laughs> one of them happens to belong to me. And yeah. where are they going to get steel that's wide? How wide is the steel going to... I can get it 20 feet, feet wide if I want it, can you and really? I can get it as long as I want. So and then how do you mill. move that to the factory? Will it fit on a truck? Will it roll, roll like that? Up. Yeah, well, I mean, will it roll like that fit on a truck? Yeah, okay. we, we already do it. I, actually, if you go down to pretty much any of the car factories, yeah. you'll find um, a stock 8 foot and uh, stock 10 and 12 foot wow. rolled up. And then what you do is you, you it gets unrolled, it right. goes through a straightener, right. and then you go into your different blanking dies and whatnot for shearing and whatnot, okay. whatever you need to do. And so, are there any engineering obstacles you can see that could delay the Cybertruck? I mean, the 8,000 ton press for the rear, front and rear casting seems yeah. doable. Actually, that was a big deal. Okay? Is it? So when Hydra came up with that, right? Um, I, like I said, I was a tool maker. I right? did dyes and molds and stuff like that. I can tell you for sure, 8,000 tons. And by the way, you know how fast you fill that, right? It's in microseconds. 10 milliseconds? Yeah. So like you're, you're really and truly looking at something that's going to uh, fill that mold in a hurry yeah. with a material that they've developed. That's not standard right. 350 or that's, 380 aluminum. That's SpaceX yeah. fabrication it's, probably. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a derivative of a, a material that was developed in Germany a long time ago. 
but nobody could figure out an application for it because there was no way that you could, who wants to squirt metal like that? Wow. So, so anyway, we're looking at uh, a seriously, that's a big engineering problem and it was solved by Hydra and it's been solved by several different mold companies, some of them on the East Coast that I, I'm not allowed to talk about. Okay. And in China, it looks like the parent company of Hydra is, right. has a similar... Exactly right. And they have sold somewhere around 36 of those mold machines. Hydra has sold 18, 12 of them belonging to, uh, to Tesla. Wow. Do you, do you see any um, other like actual challenges that the Cybertruck would have to overcome to actually exist? Or apart from the, I mean, they're, all the pieces are there, right? Exactly. Um, and actually, um, I've, uh, we've just torn down the, uh, the new um, plaid electric motor. Right. And when we, uh, I knew that they were wrapped in, um, in carbon fiber. Okay, that's an interesting idea. And it's good for uh, you know making it lightweight, and it gives you a good air gap and on and on. So there's a lot of. But when we cut inside, yeah. When we cut into it and we started looking at that electric motor, that is revolutionary. Real revolutionary. No one. I've seen electric motors for who knows eons. I'm an old guy. It's very very seldom that I, I get surprised when we cut that thing off and I looked inside and found out first off the first thing we did was we put green cloth on it or green paper to find out you know where the where the lines are right. for a certain, well guess what this doesn't isn't offset there's usually a clocking that you do for an electric motor okay. this one doesn't have it and yet when I drove it I didn't feel pulse none this is revolutionary all by itself. I said, let's get that, let's get that uh, carbon fiber off. I want to see what's going on inside. We pulled that off. We about peed our pants because you know what? This is not made. The 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 uh, what do you call them? The laminates are not made in one piece. That gives you a gap, mm -hmm. which allows extra power, if you like through the magnetics and whatnot that that, that thing has, it's like, never, I've never seen it before. Actually, the, um, the, the, the actual laminates uh, are heavier than what we normally see, and they're in the shape of, uh, of a Star of David, okay. like, a, like a Jewish yeah, yeah. star. I've never seen that before either. Huh. And the magnets themselves are about twice as powerful as the ones that were in the Model Y. Wow. Wow. Each magnet. Wow. And by the way, they're also glued together in one great big long bar. I mean, everything that you could ever saw about how to how to manufacture an electric motor has been changed revolutionarily. The only thing that's the same is the uh, the shaft in the center. Everything else is different. Wow. Now, I'm going to make a big prediction. I'm going to say that that's the motor they're going to stick into the um, into the uh, cyber truck and the reason for that is because they can get so much more power out of it it doesn't matter about high speed and things like that this is just going to give a ton more money uh, more power would a, would a motor like the plaid be prohibitively expensive to make compared to a Y motor um, prohibitively no It'll be more expensive, I think. Sure. But there's a suggestion that we're going to give to Tesla, and that is uh, don't wind it. Oh. Knit it. Knit the, uh, or weave the, uh, the, the, the shell, the, the round part. Shove it on, and, uh, and that'll, that'll save you some money and time. Winding it takes too long. And uh, this way, I can just grab that thing. Done. Hmm. Okay. That's fascinating. That's fascinating. Yeah. Yes? <laughs> The rare earth is in the magnets itself. That's neodymium. Right. Neodymium is a, a rare earth material. But you got to remember, rare earth is kind of like a, it's a misnomer. It's not rare. Rare earth is not rare. It's uh, it's available. It's not it's not it's not like cobalt. Cobalt is not a rare earth material, but it's. Uh, it's only in a couple of places, and right. both of them are not <laughs> not friendly places. And, not. and basically, in the Congo, every time they have a revolution, uh, 
uh, that's that's a material that you can only get there. Mm. And then you've got basically they use children. I don't want to get into it. It's yeah. just an ugly situation all the way around. There are a lot of different battery technologies that are approaching the problem from every side. Right. And yeah. one of the one of the ones that uh, that photo bomb. Oh, oh, hey, here we go. Good we were just you. talking to you. Oh. We're talking about yeah. you. Yeah, oh, you're right. Mark. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Excellent, Excellent speech. speech. Oh. Can I have to... right. Well, hey, anyway, good thanks job. for coming out for it. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. So, yeah. Um, I don't remember where we were. Uh, we were talking about uh, rare earth oh, maintenance and yeah, I... and there's all kind. There's a million different chemistries that are right. that are in the works. Some of them work better than others, but anything to diversify is great. Yeah, I LFP know. right now is uh, is something that I'm looking at uh, really hard because it doesn't give you the power that you get out right. of a 2170 or a 4680 right. or any even any of the uh, LG uh, you know uh, lithium batteries. Sure. So, but what it does do is keeps your range like no tomorrow. And yeah. you probably heard and about the cycles one, too. Uh, the uh, our next energy. They drove from Detroit to Lansing and back again. No stops. 850 miles. And they used the case from the Tesla Plaid. So they took wow. a Tesla Plaid, bought it, pulled out the uh, the magnet or sorry, pulled the out battery. the batteries, yanked uh, yanked the battery case out. Pulled out the battery pack, put their LFP batteries in, shoved it back in, and there you go. So with the Cybertruck, uh, when I, I made a video about it, oh, I don't know, a million years ago, and I compared it to, uh, I used an illustration from a Lego builder. Yeah. And I basically said front system, back system, structural pack, and a shell. How fast are these gonna come off the line without a paint shot? When they get hot, when they get up to speed, paint, uh, paint actually doesn't really slow you down. It's just another step in the operation. Sure. But I'm a big fan of not painting anything. Right. Uh, don't tell any of these guys. Sandy, I have to, sure, sure. to cut in. You got to make our rounds here yeah, yeah. a little bit. Oh, Sandy, 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 Sandy thank, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much for your time. Okay. Your yeah. channel means a lot to a lot of people. I appreciate it. Well, thank you, thank you so much for the uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all as well. Thank you, man. Okay. Yeah, Good to meet you, Jordan. Yeah, yeah you take yeah. care. A massive thank you to my Patreons, without whom videos like this couldn't exist. It costs money to go places and do things and meet the people we need to meet. So thank you all so, so much for your support. And for everyone else, you know, subscribe and like and hit the thummy thing in either direction. Leave a comment. And if you enjoy the video, consider sharing it with somebody who shares your interests and views. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me all your thoughts and your juicy wisdom in them comments below. And as always, my friends, you gotta stay tuned. You gotta stay juicy. And I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots in a cyber truck.